And by popular request, we have uh, changed. <laughs> we have changed the uh, the teams. Uh, FN winners are at the front right now. We're gonna watch their POV for this last, maybe last match. This is BO3, to, so to, to yeah. Recover. And Drunken Kiss are in the back right now. So guys, I, we're starting in a sec. I just want to say that this guy that is called the Korean guy, he's from Sweden, and his teammate is from Ireland, and they're unbeatable for now. So, so we'll see it, if it will change. There is a really, really bad manner in the chat, so please kids, don't watch it, don't read it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, the no. worst of the worst, salty. Yeah. I think they were just laughing. I don't think they were. Of course they were. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> this chat, yeah. <laughs> Guys have noticed. Yeah. I don't know his mother. <laughs> <laughs> he just said that he doesn't know his mother. That's good to know. <laughs> That's what she said. You must hate them. You must throw them. You must. I must say. Psychological warfare. I must say that this, that was a trolling just to make the enemy think too much. So you know that wasn't a really uh, a serious matter. <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of water that we drink today. It's not making it better. <laughs> right, guys, just to remind you, after this match, supposedly two developers are signed up for playing the winners of the tournament because they think they can beat them. But the truth is, I'm not sure they're able to play. So we're going to see how this one plays out. If they try, if they attempt, this might be actually very funny. <laughs> it would be. All right, be. here we go. So, uh, the last or almost the last map uh, of today's tournament, uh, we have a Slavs and versus Vikings. The Slavs has a little uh, advantage on the beginning, but as we can uh, as we can saw on the previous match, it won't do them much because they were uh, worse in the tactic, uh, in the tactic way. As we can see, they're uh, they tried to take the Silver Village first. It's a very good tactic for this map. Uh, because it's much easier to take the bronze village by one squad. It's it's uh, you need two squads to take the silver one. Is there not playing? Interesting. Uh, excuse me. No, no. I just I just thought Darren's not playing. Yeah, he's playing. He's just very calm. He's not like Korean guy. <laughs> he's not spamming the keyboard. He is not. And this is also a way to play our game. You don't have to. You don't have to train a lot of APM action per minute to be really successful in our game. <laughs> uh, Jacob, thanks, but no. <laughs> Trolling in chat is always fun. Always uh, appreciated. Yeah, okay, so they're capturing the village. Um, and also the second squad is going for the bronze village. Yep, as we can see. So it doesn't need control group. Also, the Slavs has the skill. Uh, this shields has a skill to use his uh, shields as uh, to use it against the enemy missile so they will have increased missile defense but lower uh, defense and attack in melee combat so that's a great skill to use when you're taking the village but not very useful when you're fighting with other uh, melee units right so uh philip what nations are fn winners vikings both no i just There's, saw slavs the, there is slavs and slavs and vikings and vikings Okay, so Drunken Kiss are all Vikings and FN winners are all Slavs. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. As you can see, they're taking their first Bronze Village. That is uh, on the south part, south, uh, south end from the base. And also they're trying to get the fur, the village, the Silver Village that's in the middle. We'll see how it goes. It's a knight and it doesn't use uh, torches, so they want to sneak up to the enemy. And the Silver Village is not taken, so they have a chance to take it. And the Vikings are trying to take the first Bronze Village on the up, on the south and on the uh, north. So they will take the Silver Village, but they will lose both Bronze Village. For now it's even, it's, uh, it's, they both have the same amount of villages, so there is no point for each side. Now... There we go, first village. First advantage first in village. First advantage, yes. In village, but they will just capture the silver village, so it will give them some points. They will refinish and they can now 
attack the enemy from the backs, so from a side that they could not expect to be uh, attacked from. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so okay, so we have now shields uh, replenished. Uh, uh, the ally has taken the go. village on the north, so they only have one village uh, on uh, their sides lost on the south. Uh, and they decide to attack from the both sides once they want to defend this north village and then they want to attack the south village on the east, on the west. So we will see how it goes. There's two squads of shields. They should take in the village even if the enemies will have a reinforcement because most of what can have there is one spear squad like this one. They were taken from flank, so they have uh, morale lowered and they also bet against the spearmen. So they should be able to take this this uh, this village and also we see that the silver village in the middle is taken but there is no foot in this vikings uh, vikings party so they will have their moral lowered uh, vikings is also trying to take the silver village in the middle so it's now minus 10 for the for the players we are watching uh, because they have no village at all and for now they're trying to take this one single but oh, I think they will not succeed. One shot, one kill. Yeah, this tower is crazy. Oh, they got it. They got it. But I don't think it's really, wise. it's really wise to attack it because nah, they will just load she. this. Yeah, they, they should They'll just die. take. Oh, they will, they should just take this one guy and then retreat. It will cost them much much more less. It was like one for one, so it wasn't a really good, good change. Especially because they are now losing. It's minus 13 and plus 13. So they have a lot, a lot of, uh, they are in the very disadvantage, a disadvantage. Uh, they have uh, much less resources, so they will have a much, much, uh, much trouble to get back in the game. Oh gosh, this is a lot. This is only a third, uh, a third Slav squad. And they try to take this village on the north. Uh, they always will replenish, also will replenish. And this village is unprotected, so it will should be an easy PC to take them, uh, take it. Um, okay, so we have the far Shieldman squad for our blue guy. He's not replenishing squad, he noticed that, and he's going back to village to replenish them. That's a little mistake. Uh, maybe it won't cost him much. He should use his first shields that are in the base to capture the village on the south, but he doesn't do it, so that's, that's a really, really mis uh, great mistake because they're just idle and doesn't do as shit and he doesn't have them in the control group so that's why he missed them that's a bit really really bad for him uh, we'll see when he will uh, notice that that he has not used this uh, unit uh, and in the meantime the Vikings are trying to take the silver village uh, they sh it should be protected they should ring uh, to uh, not give them to the enemy so easily. There's two squads, they should flank the enemy. They're not flanking, that's a mistake. Still, there is a third Shieldman squad that's still in the base. As you can see, the Spearmans are flanking, they're attacking from oh, the rear, Spearmans. but we also have uh, shields that will attack from the rear the shields, the, the Spearmans. So that's, you know, Rear attack for rear attack. That's really, really good to the meta watch. rear attack. Yeah, the meta rear attack. And as you can see, they have uh, advantage in the middle. Um, they still doesn't move the third shield. That's a really, really bad mistake uh, for so long. But they managed to take the second village, Silver. And, and, really this, trying hard. and this village on, uh, on the bottom. So they should tie in a point. It should give them some time to recover, to get back to this game. Yeah, as you can see, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. So now they have time wow. to regroup and to attack the enemy. we we'll see how it goes. They can also, if they want to, upgrade their uh, armor so they will be more resistant. They're trying now to take another village. They're not, the blue one doesn't use his villagers. Oh, now finally he found his third squad. Uh, he doesn't uh, force his uh, villages to take uh, resources and also the ally has no food so they have no morale so it, it will be much much harder for him to defend and or to counterattack as you can see the blue ones try to counterattack he found the enemy spearmans he's attra trying to attack them 
it has no more ale because he has no food. Also, he goes much, much too in too much uh, units for this part of the game. He should be more careful about that. And it looks not very yeah. promising. Yeah. He was surrounded, so he cannot now retreat this shield person. He's taking another shield, but he has no food, so it's not very good idea. Uh, he should he should use his uh, workers to give him some resources from the south uh, south village, but he doesn't do it, so that's also not good. As you can see, the <laughs> the spearmen are also have no food, so that's uh, a fight with a starving starving uh, soldiers. Wait, it's still zero zero. It's still zero zero because the Vikings doesn't have food, so they cannot take easily. Not quite uh, GG yet. Not quite GG yet. It's they still have a chance. It's still that the uh, uh, green village on the uh, middle has no village taken. Oh, now finally he's, he's, take, uh, he's ordered his uh, villagers to take uh, resources. And this village in the middle has still the uh, alone res re resource generator with food that is not taken. It would greatly help them to get recover from this uh, position, but they doesn't do it. Uh, you know. It's a lot, a lot of thing to do, so uh, maybe that's why Jay doesn't uh, notice that. <laughs> there was a Windows uh, trying to... Uh, trying to do... trying to... Window? Oh, the Yeah, this one window. Uh, trying to... Uh, was it Windows Store? I think it was Windows Store. <laughs> Trying to distract, yes, this is the word I was looking for. Trying for, sorry for that, guys. Trying to distract the uh, one of our so players. Slaves are hungry, of course. Yeah, slaves are hungry. Might be the biggest so they point, so they decided to go in defensive formation, but that will not help them. They need desperately food. The defensive position is not really help them. They should take this one a resource generator for them or advance to next era because in next era you will have greater income. It will boost your income, so that's a good idea to advance you mean in like this. like technology tier? Yeah, technology okay. tier second, it will give you much more uh, resource. As we can see, uh, his ally has a foot, so he's trying to, to defend from these overwhelming forces. This unit that he has on the uh, middle, he should attack the silver village on the middle because Probably it's Ooh. it's undefended, Ooh. so they should take it easily. Oh, and I think they yeah they got it. They they found out. They f think about that. Uh, they should attack the silver village because it will help them uh, recover in this fight. They are minus five in the uh, foot, so they definitely definitely need to use just this recruited. village. Yeah, he just recruited another uh, another another um, squad. Another squad, so it won't help with his starvation. And we'll see, the, he's just uh, taking away this shield position to make them uh, going faster. And they have no morale, so they are really, really, really slow. The new squad has a full morale, but has no food, so it, this morale will really fast drop down. He makes another squad with no morale, so as we can see, they doesn't care about, about food. They just okay. want to win. Okay. Still, the silver village in the middle has no villages in the resource generator, so they don't re generate any resources at all. And only res that's brutal, man. That's brutal. Only uh, generate um, generate uh, points. So not only, but that's a very valuable yeah, thing in this they matter. Were, they were plus three for like five seconds. Yeah, because they lost one village, but get another village. Oh, and the enemy Vikings get the Huskers, the X infantry, that are really, really good against the shields, mate. Shields infantry. And also the blue one. Oh, he got the food. Yeah, he will get the food, but it will be not enough to feed out this whole army. Yeah, they've recruited a lot of soldiers. They recruit much more than they can handle. There is another one recruiting. And they should really transfer to another. Uh, they saw that the enemy has Axemen, so they should do something about it instead of recruiting another uh, another meat, basically. It will just be a meat for uh, Axemen uh, <laughs> person. They should invest some money instead of another uh, another troops they should invest in upgrading them so they will be more effective uh, but they didn't know it so that could cost them a game we'll see how it goes 
they're trying to take the, they're trying to be to to fight in a mouse and cow uh, thing like they will lose one uh, one village but they will take another one so that's also a viable strategy but we'll see how long it could stand the enemy has archers and the archers are really really good at uh, taking out the shields uh, when they are slowed down because they have no moral air. You could also see that the Vikings on the second level will try to take this silver one. Uh, the enemy knows that our sh Slavs has no moral air. And yeah, and you can see he will try to defend this village but it will be really really hard without the moral air. Uh, so I don't think that Kutik should see it. Uh, as you can see, they're trying to take, uh, trying to take the village on the south. They have second tier to then go with spearmen, and it's not a bad idea to go to the spearmen because the enemy has some X-men, but most of them are spears. So it's still better to have mostly shield uh, infantry. Uh, but <laughs> without the morale, they are not really effective and that's a problem for uh, the, uh, the teams that we are looking for. But they're managing to tie still. They have another village silver. This is just the cut and mouse play. They also trying to take the south village. That's a good idea. Uh, they split the forces. That's uh, really, really clever. And we see, oh, and the Vikings notice that they want to tr take this uh, village on the south. Our shieldman, uh, our Slavs, doesn't notice that, and it will probably, yeah, it will cost them a unit. That's, from one hand, it's a good They're positive. information. Oh, they're, sorry. They're, they're still uh, in the same amount of uh, villages for now. They have a little bit of advantage. And still, the silver one, the silver, the middle. Uh, the villages has no uh, villages in the resources, uh, so it's the still peasants, they the they peasants are the not uh, sending a resource, so they are still starving. Uh, I should, in, in their places, I will definitely go, oh yeah, I'll definitely go this way and then destroy two of my squads to have back the morale because okay. without them it will okay. not do a shit <laughs> and we'll try and definitely will not recruit new one and we'll try to upgrade the uh, units I have or go to another tier to have much more resources and as we can see it's minus 16 in food it's really really that's a lot, that's that's a lot. lot. Oh, he finally got some uh, upgrades but he decided that he needs stable and recruit another other units. That's not a good decision. Uh, as you can see, they are flanked. Uh, our shield uh, guys from Slavs, but also the enemy has no food. So as you can see, it's like a battle of Here a starving person. Yeah, and that could not end well for a Viking spearman because shield has an advantage uh, above them. But there is a squad that has upgrade in armor and also a, a second level. So it could be. Uh, bad for these poor guys uh, with shields. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think there will be retreat, but they're still holding. They gathering experience, but unfortunately the enemy gathered it first, so uh, it's uh, yeah, it will be retreat. They will lose this village for the Vikings. Yeah, he's trying to wait for the very last moment to retreat. He still has no mo no food. They still has no morale. No, we gotta give it to Evan. They're 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 they're, they're defending. Yeah, they're they're yeah. Well. I, they're seriously, you know, making up for the I must say. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, when you are tired and housed, exhausted, and somebody tells you go to home, you will go to home as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, and now Vikings don't only have spears, Vikings can also have uh, scouts cavalry, they have archers, they have uh, shields and axes, if I'm not mistaken. Because we are, you know, still balancing the game and one of the balance things we are making is uh, taking out some units. As you can see there the starving nice. archers are <laughs> shooting to starving Vikings. <laughs> that could take a long time to, to to finish, but uh, there are some starving shields <laughs> that will try to help. No, and but uh, Berserkers are not really well against uh, archers, so archers are a good counter for Berserkers. Yeah, uh, Berserkers are good for... Uh, berserkers, the Axemen are good for shields, but they're outnumbered 
and a really bad spot. As we can see, the archers change the target to not fire at his own soldiers because when the archers are behind your soldiers, yeah. they will friendly fire friendly your soldiers. Friendly fire will screw uh, you up. So you need to position yourself correctly. You should. Uh, the best way is to to be that your archers are behind the enemy or flank them. Uh, if they are behind your guys and trying to attack the enemy, they will uh, they will attack your guys. And we are almost on the end of the game because it's is minus 13. And Yay. yes, this is the end of the tournament. Congrats, congrats, congrats. to Drunken Kiss. They have the award. Recognition award goes to.